Welcome to our fifth and final episode of this series of Western Sport Fishing. Today we're out here in beautiful Red Deer, Alberta, Canada, and we're joined by our good friends Nick Sakonich, Trevor Sakonich, and we got Tim on the camera. Now Trevor, it sure is a nice day to be out on the water. Sure is. It's a nice day to be out here finally. I uh, haven't been out in a long time, and it's a pleasure to fish with you again. It certainly is, and uh, Nick, you did a bit of fishing on this river this summer. How's it been? Oh, it's been on and off, but today looks really nice, so hopefully it's good. All right, well, enough said. Let's head out and fish the Red Deer River. Got five weight rods here and we're catching walleye. <laughs> Not what we were thinking of, but Nick's gonna net it for me. Oh, <laughs> he got it. Good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nice walleye. Oh, let's see if we can hold it up. Like that. Got a nice walleye out of the Red Deer River and going to put it back for more. <laughs> well, this fishing's been uh, a bit unexpected with what we've been catching. We've been getting more walleye than we thought. Originally, we came out here and thought we'd be going for whitefish. That was the original idea, but when you're coming to a mixed bag fishery like the red deer is here, you just never know what you're going to catch. You never it could know what be you're going to catch. Pike, walleye, whitefish, gold eye, brown trout. Maybe some burbot soccer. too. Yeah, there's some burbot, suckers. Everything just, out there's here. There's pretty much every fish in Alberta lives in this river. So what kind of rod do you think a guy should take out here if he wants to go for pretty much everything? Um, you could pretty much narrow the rod selection down to about two rods. You could have anything from a six to an eight weight for streamer and nymph fishing. And for dry fly fishing, I like a four weight, but anything from a four to a five would be good. And we're dealing with slightly difficult conditions that flows up a bit. There's a dam on this river. That's right, the, uh, the river is dam controlled, which means this is gonna be a cold water fishery all summer long. And uh, unfortunate part about that is we're subject to whatever flows the dam releases. Like today is hot and sunny, hasn't rained in a little while, but the river went up 20 meters from this morning to now. Okay, but as long as we keep catching those walleye, we'll be having a good time out here, eh? <laughs> I'd say so. Let's get back out there and do it again. All right. That's a perfect. Just stripping the streamer through this pool, and I got a nice walleye. I didn't know what it was. Beauty fish, probably could, at least five we're using pounds. Five weights, because we we're gonna go for white fishing. What do you say, Nick? That's that's a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get I don't know if this net's gonna net. work. Oh, oh yeah. We brought the trout nets today. Because <laughs> we were going for white fish. Oh, look at that. Now pop the hook out. Should pop right out. It's in the bone though. I wonder if this one will cooperate. <laughs> that should be alright. Oh, it spins in a little bit. Fin in the net there. vertically. Look oh, at that. Nice walleye. Beauty. Get her back in the water. Not what we were going for, but pleasant surprise. That's a good consolation, I'd say. Yeah. How can you 
can't complain about that. Being that the Red Deer River is a mixed bag fishery with all kinds of fish, you must have to have a variety of streamers, nymphs, and dry flies. Maybe let's take a look at your dry flies first, and then we'll move on to the other ones. Sure. Well, as you can tell, I've got three main types of fly patterns here. I've got my stone flies and terrestrials, which can be often covered by the same pattern. Great. I've got my mayflies, and I've got my caddises. Now, to make sure that I'm going to be able to fish all the different hatches throughout the season effectively. I take a wide variety of size and colors of all of those. To cover all the bases, right? Yeah. Now let's move on to nymphs, I guess. Sure. <clears throat> now to fish this river, you're, get, you're going to want nymph stages of the dry flies we've already talked about. So generally what you're going to want is some things like hare's ears, you're going to want some pheasant tails, some stonefly nymphs. But during whitefish season, anything red works quite well. Yeah, like we had success with San Juans and in smaller sizes. Yeah, and that's, and that's what you can see here in this row of flies. Right. Now let's move on to streamers, I guess. Sure. For the big predators. For the big ones. Streamers are a less important choice pattern for pattern, but you're going to want to carry some light and some dark. Right. Um, I prefer big streamers, but anything between a two and a six can be effective in different situations. And I see you got a variety of colors to maybe cover different food sources. That's true. There's going to be leeches in this river. There will be various forms of bait minnows. And then you've also got your general attractor streamers right. as well. And those have been working good for the walleye. So they maybe sure we'll have. head back out there and put these flies to the test. Let's do it. All right. Well, we just had a little double header here between me and Andy. Nothing as big as Tim's, but hey, on the on the cast fly. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, it's a lot nicer than Andy's. Look at that thing. No, look at this on the fly. How about, how about that, eh? Oh, that's a nice one, Nick. Oh yeah. Oh, took it kind of in the corner of the mouth there. There he goes. Whoa. Hey Andy, double header. Slime shake. Fist juggling. Looks like we got another walleye here. That's really good looking fish there, Andy. It's not as big as Tim's nice one, around five pounds, but if you want to get her, Trevor, that would be much appreciated. Oh yeah, you're pushing your hand on the fin. Yeah, that way they don't spike you down. Point them upstream and... Point them upstream, give them a little shake. There he goes. There he goes. Well, if this fishing keeps up, maybe you'll get one. Hopefully. <laughs> Well, we had a pretty good day out here on the Red Deer River, but it wasn't quite what we expected, was it? No, we expected to catch uh, Rocky Mountain whitefish this time of year, but we were surprised with those walleye. But I think it was a good surprise. What do you think? I think it was pretty good for getting skunked. Uh, I had a pretty good day. Right on. Well, until next time at Western Sport Fishing, take care. Welcome. 
Welcome to the fifth and final episode of this season of Western Sport Fishing. Today we're good. We have the good fortune. <laughs> I'll let the cop go like 500 the speed limit all the time just to watch people squirm. Alright, well we had a pretty good day out here on the Red Deer River. Wasn't quite what we expect. Westernsportfishing.ca <laughs> <laughs>